Hey, what's good guys? Karik here. Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today, I'm going to be explaining how I did this logo animation inside of Houdini and Blender. Also, if you're interested in getting any of the project files, this project file alongside all of my previous project files, they're going to be available on my Patreon. First link in the description. So first of all, you're going to import your logo. So drop a file node and you can import your logo from your PC. You don't have to follow this step, but you could, it's optional. Now drop a vellum constrained grain or a vellum configure grain node. What this node is gonna do, it's gonna turn your logo or whatever mesh that you imported into grains. Make sure to tick the create points from volume and if you're not getting any grains, you're gonna be messing with the values of the particle size. Click on your jitter scale or dither surface and it's gonna add some variations to your grains. A very important point is to add a vellum constraints node and changing the constraint type to glue as well as messing with those values. Increase the constraints per point as well as those values. This is gonna make your grains more sticky. And now finally drop a vellum solver node. Plug your vellum constraints node into the solver and this is gonna basically add the dynamics and the forces onto your animation. And that's pretty much it for the first part of the simulation. Also make sure your subsets are set to 5. We're gonna be making those spheres that are gonna be flowing. Those spheres are gonna be the collisions. They're gonna collide with the grains um, giving us, you know, the bursts that you've seen. So this is very simple, just add any geometry, I added a box, an ISO offset, this is gonna transform the geometry into volume, add a scatter uh, node, this is gonna scatter uh, points onto your um, volume, and now we're gonna be copying spheres or pretty much anything onto those points. So I added a sphere and I made a copy to points node. Add, add the copy to points node and plug the sphere and the scatter. This is gonna scatter the spheres onto the points. And finally, add the vellum constraints node. You don't have to change anything with the values here and the vellum solver. Bump up the substeps a bit. You can change the time scale. The time scale is gonna affect how fast your simulation runs, pretty much. And so that's pretty much it. Turn off gravity and go inside of the vellum solver. Here I added a pop attract. Um, force as well as a pop wind force. I merged both of them together and I plugged them into the force output. So this attract force is basically gonna attract all of the points together into a single point and the pop wind force is gonna make um, the spheres interact with wind and make them go in various random directions which is what we want. And finally, drag the vellum geometry of this vellum solver into the collision geometry. And now you should have both of your simulations interact with each other. So if you cache the simulation and run it, you're going to be seeing the spheres interact with the grains, which looks pretty nice. If you don't like where the spheres are interacting with the grains, you can go into your scatter node and change the global seed. This is going to change the position of the points and the spheres, giving you different results. So you can always tweak this and go back until you have something that you like. So now to finalize everything, you can either render it inside of Houdini or drop an Alembic crop Alembic node. This is going to allow you to export your simulation as an Alembic file where you can then import it to Cinema 4D, Blender or any other software and actually do the rest of the lighting, texturing and rendering in. And so that's pretty much it. Make sure to go and check my Patreon if you need this project file alongside numerous other project files and assets. And that's it. Stay safe. Goodbye.